The Japanese Meteorological Agency has upgraded a severe tropical storm uh, 09W or Paparoon to Typhoon at status. Welcome to another update from the uh, Force 13 AU channel. We're doing the updates uh, due to Nathan not being 100% well and hopefully uh, he'll be back on board in a couple of days. And this is the life of the typhoon up to about four hours ago. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has it located 64 nautical miles northwest of Kadena Air Force Base. Okinawa tracking 11 knots over the last six hours. Animated multispectral satellite imagery, radar imagery, depict tightly curved deep convective banding wrapping into a compact core with an 8 nautical mile oblong eye. And therefore there is good confidence in the current position. Current intensity is assessed at 75 knots. Again, uh, based on VOAC estimates, animated water vapour imagery indicates a robust equatorial outflow and a distinct poleward outflow channel enhanced by a sharp mid-latitude short wave trough. Uh, here's some uh, tracks on the typhoon. And the shortwave trough is digging over the East China Sea. However, water vapour imagery also shows increased pressure over the western periphery as the aforementioned trough begins to impinge on outflow. Typhoon CO9W is tracking along the western periphery of a deep layered subtropical ridge position to the east. The uh, typhoon will continue to track poleward along the western periphery of the Stirling Ridge. Dynamic model guidance remains in good agreement through the next 24 hours with an 80 nautical mile spread in solutions near Sespo, Japan. Apology if I haven't got that one right. Uh, late cycle intensity guidance. A couple of them have it at a Cat 2 level. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's current track chart. Upper level conditions and forecasts will remain favourable for slight intensification over the next uh, 12 hours at a peak intensity of 80 knots within 24 hours. Now here's a satellite image uh, provided by the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. And located 27 decimal 3 degrees north, 127 decimal 0 degrees east, maximum wind 75 knots, minimum central pressure 968 millibars. Now here's a look at the NOAA floaters. Within 24 hours north of 30 north latitude, vertical wind shear is forecast to increase significantly with cooler sea surface temperatures around the 25 Celsius mark, which will serve to weaken the typhoon as it recurves south of the Korean Peninsula. And as the typhoon tracks over the east Sea. sea surface temperatures are forecast to cool significantly to less than 22 Celsius. The system will weaken rapidly while undergoing extra tropical transition. And we'll complete this, uh, complete this process within 48 hours and will become embedded within strong mid latitude westerly flow near the jet.
Within 72 hours, the extra tropical low will accelerate east and northeast, tracking over northern Hodgshu. Overall, there is high confidence in the centre's forecast track. Upper level divergence is starting to weaken, it's down around 30 knots. The 24 hour shear tendency, tropical systems love the area in blue and green and where the typhoon is uh, positioned, very healthy environment. The latest wind shear, tropical systems don't like the red, yellow is neutral, green favourable. The A50 metre bar vorticity remains very healthy where the typhoon is positioned. And we switch across to the windy.com website. It's one of two uh, models and we're looking at the win factor. And we also have Another area of uh, interest, 91W. Dry Typhoon Warning Centre has a tropical cyclone formation alert in place. And it's located near 10 decibel 2 degrees north, 148 decibel 2 degrees east. And is about 260 nautical miles southeast of Graham. You can follow Force 13 on any of our many outlets. The website, force13.com, and its tracker. Of course, we're on YouTube. You're probably watching us there, but if not, there it is. You can also find us on Facebook. Search Force 13, all in text. And it's at Force 13 on Twitter. Um, also, all in text. You can also add Fool13 on Skype and add extension 9094 on Discord.